Yeah, you know, I'm a local. Uh, I live here, so I like. Uh, I was looking at the calendar and realized that the um, Fourth of July this year was on a Tuesday, um, so that left a big gap and some time to do uh, a lot of fun stuff. Uh, traditionally speaking, um, here in Pauley's Island, there's not a lot of stuff to do the week of the Fourth of July, other than just go to the beach or um, or come shopping. Um, so I knew that there was going to be a lot of people here. Um, so I knew that there was an opportunity to really showcase um, our area and showcase some of the parks and recreation. So. Uh, when I first announced it, it was um, really a Sunday event with Monday as a rain out date. But uh, I believe there's going to be um, a need for things to do, particularly in the evening for families. So that was uh, why we decided to go for, for two days. And you're doing it on the second and third, so it's not interfering with the ton of events taking place on the 4th of July. Oh, I know better than to try and schedule an event uh, on the 4th of July. 4th of July is a, a day that people want to spend with their, their traditions, um, doing things at the house, doing things on the beach, the Polyzon Parade, which I've been going to since I was, I was born, really. Um, so I, I love all the traditions that Pauly's Island has on the 4th. Uh, they do a great job on the island. North Litchfield has its parade. Um, but where the fourth fell this year, there was really just a, a gap, in, uh, particularly on, on Sunday, Monday. Um, some of the area local restaurants are not even open those days. So there's not as many opportunities for, to, for things for your family to do other than to just go to the beach. So our thought was let's provide a safe, uh, centrally located atmosphere uh, where people can come out and bring their families and really spend some time together um, without having to spend a whole bunch of money. Well, let's talk about what's going to happen Sunday the 2nd. Tell us about what's going to happen that day. Well, so Sunday the 2nd, um, we're going to open the gates at 5 p.m. Um, we're going to have a bunch of vendors there. I've got vendors that are both local uh, as well as a lot of vendors from Charleston and Wilmington um, coming down and coming up for the event. Uh, we're going to have uh, three food trucks on site. We've got um, a couple of area local restaurant chefs that are going to be there um, serving some of their prepared foods. Um, we've got New South Brewing is going to be there serving craft beer. Um, so with uh, vending, food, um, beer and wine, and of course non-alcoholic drinks, we've got some Italian ice guys coming out. We've got all the different kind of uh, stuff that you really would need to bring your family to have a good time. Mm -hmm. um, we're also going to be offering a, um, a kickball portion. You know, the park itself, uh, Retreat Park, is located right across uh, the street from North Litchfield. The baseball fields are actually visible from Highway 17. Uh, it's got a nice big yard out back where we'll build a stage and put the vendors and put all the, the people. And then the fields um, are going to be open to, for um, community kickball games. And how can people uh, who want to be part of the kickball take part in that? Uh, the best thing to do would be to give my partner Jonathan Poole a call. Um, you're welcome to call me as well. Um, his uh, email address is j-h-o-l-e-f-a-n at gmail.com. Uh, he's a big hole, uh, big fan of Jackson Hole, so jholefan uh, at gmail.com. That's Jonathan Poole. We've already got probably 30, 40 people registered for that, which we're excited for. Um, but since we have two fields, we're going to be able to run multiple games. Um, it'll be all ages, all inclusive, so we really encourage you all to come on out and, and participate. There's not a charge for any of it, so the event itself is, uh, is going to be free entry. Um, the kickball is free. Um, we've been very gracious to have some local sponsors. Um, that have made that possible um, and without them none of this would, would happen. Now Sunday and Monday nights are going to end with a laser show. Tell us about that. Yeah so you know we're, we're thinking uh, if we're going to put on a community event uh, particularly at a, a, a county parks and recreation facility that there might be some expectation for end of show um, wow factor. I know that if I were going to a party that the city was throwing, um, then I might expect a little something to end the show. Uh, so with that thought in mind, we really started looking at what we could do. Um, part of my passion and part of my vision for these events is to bring new, fresh concepts and ideas to Pauly's Island. Um, and that's what led me to uh, Stone Entertainment and the Laser Light Show. So what we're going to do at the end of both nights, instead of doing a big fireworks show, we're going to have a big production laser light show um, that's not going to be your standard uh, lasers pointed at the stage, but more of a, um, a presentation out over the crowd. Uh, so we're real excited about that. We'll be ending both nights. Uh, um, Sunday night, we're going to have a choreographed kind of medley of songs that have been a real pleasure to, to put together. 
um, that'll kind of keep the theme of the holiday weekend and the wave that flag theme. And then uh, Monday night, um, Drew and Whiskey Neat will actually be playing a medley live to the Laser Light Show. We're really excited about that. So we'll be stepping it up a notch for night two. So you can't miss either yeah, night. Yeah. Now, Monday night, are there going to be events taking place that do not take place Sunday night? Well, the band lineups will be com uh, completely different. So on uh, Sunday night, I've got um, The Reckoning coming from Charleston to come play. Um, big fan of theirs. They've played in Pauly's before. Um, and then after them, we've got Empire Strikes Brass coming from Asheville. Uh, Empire Strikes Brass is a kind of a New Orleans frontline um, style uh, funk band that have played the sold out Red Rocks. They've played in um, with a lot of uh, big time musicians and, and have a big following. So they'll be playing Sunday night and then Monday night we're really uh, proud to present some of our local heroes, uh, Whiskey Neat. Um, we'll be doing their full band, two full sets. So um, a night, Sunday night, where we're bringing in some bands from out of town, but then Monday night will be a real focus on the best that we have to offer. You know, come on out. We've got, this is a real family friendly event. Um, you know, we look to be done uh, by 9 30, 10 o'clock at the latest, so we're not looking for late nights. Um, and other than that, I just want to, you know, really appreciate the support uh, and really look forward to having a fun event for the community.